Hi everybody, today we will be discussing about the umbilical artery Doppler indices. And this is a normal umbilical artery Doppler waveform. And on a y axis, we have frequency which is measured in centimeter per second, that is the velocity. On x axis, we have time, cardiac cycle time, which is measured in seconds. So, first we have to know what is S, what is D, what is M. S is the systolic peak, it is the maximum velocity during the contraction of the fetal heart. And D is the in diastolic flow. Normally in the umbilical artery there is a blood flow from fetus to the placenta. It is a forward flow and it in turn depends upon the placental vascular resistance. M is the mean velocity. So these are all the indices. So S by D ratio is systole by diastole ratio or I resist to index peak systolic velocity minus end diastolic velocity by peak systolic velocity. PI pulse tality index peak systolic velocity minus end diastolic velocity by mean velocity. These are the indices of resistance to blood flow. Coming to physiology, as the gestation increases, there is maturation of the placenta, there is increase in number of tertiary stimuli. This causes decrease in resistance within the placenta and resistance to blood flow decreases in the umbilical artery. As the resistance is, as the, in the umbilical artery, the blood flow is from fetus to the placenta and during diastole, as the resistance within the placenta is less, there is a forward flow, so endastolic volume will be more and RI, PI and S by D ratio will be decreased. So as the gestation increases, RI, PI and S by D ratio will decrease. Coming to IUGR, utero-placental insufficient reduce placental perfusion. In this case, what happens? Within the placenta, there will be more resistance. As the resistance is more, the resistance to blood flow increases, endastolic flow decreases and RI, PI and S by D ratio increases. One thing you have to remember, it all depends upon the placental vascular resistance. As the placental vascular resistance is more in diastolic flow, the flow from fetus to placenta to the umbilical artery, the, as the resistance increases, the flow it the flow decreases. Further, further increase in the uh, placental vascular resistance, there will be absent flow. Still further increase, there will be reversal of flow in the umbilical artery. Coming to the values, uh, we have S by D ratio. Now I will be telling the normal values at 50th percentile, that is at 20 weeks it will be 4, at 30 weeks 2.8, at 40 weeks is 2.1. One thing you have to remember for S by D ratio is, uh, roughly you remember before 28 weeks it will be less than 5, between 28 and 34 weeks it will be less than 4 and from 34 weeks to term it will be like 3 to 3.5. Patients who come, especially the growth scan, that is between 34 weeks to term, just remember cut off like 3 to 3.5. Uh, the SBD ratio it should be between 3 to 3.5. 97th percentile at 40 weeks is 3. Coming to PI, its second trimester is 2, 2 to 1.5, third trimester is 1.5 to 1. And RI 0.7. Just remember that RI it, uh, more than 0.7 will be abnormal after 26 weeks. If the RI is more than 0.8, it's always abnormal at any gestational age. And one thing we have to remember is during early stages where there will not be any placental maturation at the stages for example till 12 weeks that is first trimester there will be absent endastolic flow and between 12 and 14 weeks endastolic flow develops and more than 14 weeks endastolic flow progressively increases. Thank you.